Hello, it's Wes. Super Wes, that is. On this video, we're going to talk about the alarm box on the LTD ventilators. But externally, in the ones that we usually document, there's just three of them. The high pressure limit, the low pressure limit, and the low minute volume. The high pressure limit, we can, we can see this up here on the pressure bar. When it gives a breath, it applies some pressure to the patient's lungs. If they get congested or if they cough, that pressure can rise higher and higher. But we don't want it to get too high. So in this case, it's set at 50. So if, if this pressure goes above 50, no, the ventilator is going to say, okay, that pressure is too high, I'm going to let them exhale. And the breath will stop right then. But it will go ahead and try again with the next breath because maybe they only coughed on one breath or they cleared out the congestion. But that's to keep the pressure from going too high and causing any barotrauma or pressure damage to their lungs. And of course, as they get if an adult patient, we'll have a higher limit than will a pediatric or an infant. Generally, if this high pressure limit goes off, it's, a, it's usually because they're coughing. And they're usually coughing because they have phlegm. And the way to fix that is to clear out the phlegm. Help them cough. Uh, once they get it up into whatever tube they have, the trach tube or the endotracheal tube, Cleared out with a suction. But if they have, a, if they can cough, go ahead and help them cough or help stimulate them to cough to, to get that out. The low pressure alarm, in this case it's set on 10, that's usually a sign that it, the ventilator tubing has become disconnected. As you can see here right now, I don't have any peep dialed in, so the pressure goes to zero after every breath. But as long as the next breath it goes above 10, it will not alarm. If during this next breath it does not go above the 10, then it will alarm uh, low pressure. Or then it will, will sound the low pressure alarm. You'll see it in here, and it'll also be the low minute volume alarm. This, the minute volume, is how much, how much air goes in and out of the patient's lungs every minute. All those breaths of air added up for the minute. This is kind of a backup alarm to the low pressure because if they get disconnected and for some reason the low pressure alarm does not go off, then this is usually a backup. The only problem is, is that this low minute volume alarm is usually a nuisance alarm. It tends to alarm a lot. And because of that, most people will turn it off or the doctor will order it, will not order a low minute volume setting. Here, I'll add a little bit in here, 0.3. Okay. That way, okay. That way, if they do become disconnected and the low pressure alarm does not go off, then this one will alarm. Now, if you are taking care of someone, you need to check that these alarms will work. Because let's, uh, one way you can do that is you can get the manual resuscitator, get ready to hook it up to their trach tube or the endotracheal tube, and unplug the vent. Or take the vent off their trach tube, give them breaths with the manual resuscitator, and make sure that the low pressure alarm will go off. Sometimes if the HME is clogged up, or if there's too much resistance in the tubing, they'll become unplugged and it will not alarm. It'll still give more than 10 of pressure with the, uh, each time it tries to give a breath. So by making sure your patient is safe, by giving them breaths with the manual resuscitator, verify that this, um, disconnect them and, and verify that this alarm will go off. That's something you should do every day or every shift you work, just to make sure that nothing untoward happens. All right. Thank you so much.